one more aspect of this section 3.2 uh, in, in our task of identifying a linear function. We are now going to take a look at its equation. We have different equations and we just need to recognize whether that equation is that of a linear function or a nonlinear function. The first thing, the, let's take a look at the one, the equation that we use as the reference, the standard one. I wouldn't say standard because there is something else that is called standard, but this equation you see here, y equals mx plus b, is a widely known equation of a linear function. So we are going to use this as our point of reference, as our uh, pattern and see whether the equations you see here are or not comparable to this one. Let's begin with this, y equals 2 raised to the x. Uh, x, it's right, it's right here as an exponent and it does not qualify as being a linear one because in uh, the linear function x is part of, a, of the base and has exponent 1 right here. So in this case, it being part of, a, of an exponent. Actually, this is what we call an exponent function, by the way. So this is not uh, a linear function, so we say it's nonlinear. Now, y equals 5x. If you take a look at this, you have 5x and compare it to the one we're using as the reference, we have mx, which in this case, m is 5, right? And you say, well, where's b? Well, in this case, you can say that b is 0 because 5x plus 0 now resembles uh, the pattern we have for linear functions. So this equation is a linear function because of its form. Now let's take a look at this one. y equals 3 minus 2x squared. Notice something. Notice that x right here has an exponent 2. And right here we have no exponent. We have exponent 1, just to clarify. That means that this equation does not classify as a linear function, so it's nonlinear. If we take a look at this, what do you think? Think for a moment, and you might think, well, maybe, maybe not. Well, with what we practiced in section 1.5 some weeks ago, you can take this equation and solve for y. After you do that, you will end up with some form of equation like this. So this one is linear. Just, just solve for y. I'm not going to do it here because you can do it already. But if you do it, you will end up with a form like this. Finally, y equals square root of x plus 3. Can you see this operator here, square root? So square root is the opposite process of a quadratic form, you know, of a squaring square root. So these two processes are opposite. If this happened to be nonlinear, well, you will also see that this operator is affecting the, if you were going to graph it, now you don't get a straight line, but you will get, you will get a curve. So this is a nonlinear, specifically because we have this operator square root that is going to affect the way that we see it as you compare it to this uh, uh, equation of a, of a linear function. That's it.